All right, you mofos, I'm live. Hopefully. Okay, here it is. Got the wrong one. I don't even know how many viewers I got for right now. I'm pretty sure I still have zero. But you know what? I'm a. Uh... I'm gonna post this on my Facebook right now, real quick. So that way people can know that I am live. Posted on my Facebook, so maybe some of y'all would uh, post the link. <laughs> Cheap on I already did, fucker. Check if I have any comments. Uh, nope, it's all good. Just like I thought. I'm about to start coloring right now. <coughs> ah. Alright, so far I already, I already um, chose my colors, as you can see. I already have my palette up here, which, you know, I already have my color picks already, so I'm already ready to blend. And I already talked about this before on my recent video, well, past videos, that every time I color, let's say, a character, for instance, Wolverine, right? If I am coloring him, I each color you see has its own layer. Not every not every color you see is in one layer. Most people work like that, but I don't. I like to work, you know, um, piece by piece. Cause like I said, I'm not I'm not really a color artist, but I do like coloring. But I prefer inking. But like from time to time, I I do actually I do actually enjoy coloring. But my main focus is always it's always been inky, no matter what. So uh, I, I already tested this <clears throat> for like about ten minutes, and it, and it's exactly like Photoshop. I can actually, uh, for instance, uh, if I'm a whole I'm, I'm a whole control. Well, if you have a Mac, it's Command, right? 
uh, I'm gonna hold control and then click on my layer where it says yellow, and you're gonna see the little, you know, the little. I forgot what the hell these are called, but you're gonna see that it's selected, right? I think they're called the little margins. I don't know. I forgot. It's, it's been a while. <clears throat> and, and yesterday I was in a live stream, but I forgot it was um Monday football. So I was like, hell, and I forgot about it. So. I stayed watching the game. I saw the Cowboys getting manhandled by the Bears. It's all good. Uh, let me see who's here. Nobody so far. It's all good. Uh, I wasn't expecting people right now. Uh, I have no idea where is the, uh, what's it called? Or how many people are watching? I don't know. It's been a long ass time. The reason why I haven't live streamed was because uh, I experienced like a lot of lag, and that shit it's fucking annoying. Because I know for a fact I don't have a a strong computer. Well, right now I'm using my laptop. All right, uh, I'm gonna start coloring the yellow, and. Like everything that I have right here, select well. Every color I have right here, I'm i I'm just gonna do it here in Paint Tool Side, and then the rest I'm gonna do it in Photoshop because, uh, in Photoshop I can have that. I can make like like all right. By his nose, he's like giving out like this like smoke, you know, because he's in the he's in a cool atmosphere. He's like in outside in the woods where it's snowing. So while he while he breathes out, you know, smoke comes out. Well, you know, because of the heatness. And yeah, so uh, so yeah, I already know what to do, but I'm just gonna color this on paint tool side for the first time, first time ever. I never really tried coloring it because I already said before that I prefer Photoshop because I'm already used to it, and it's easy for me. But anyway, just start. I'm gonna start using the the water. I think it's called the water. Color brush. I'm not sure. It just says it says right here water, but either way, it's obvious as it's trying to say uh, the watercolor brush. So I have that selected, and I already got my yellow selected already. So that way, I don't go over the over the blue. Cause this is what I mean. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit Control D. It's gonna deselect. See, it's just like Photoshop. So let's say if I all right, I'm gonna choose my where's the Hold up. All right, I'm gonna hold the Alt key, the AOT, the uh, the alternative key, and you're gonna see the little um, the color picker. So I'm gonna choose this yellow right here, this dark yellow. No, no, no. This one like almost like orangey kind of feel, whatever. So let's say if I'm if let's say if I don't have if I don't have the yellow selected like right now. I could only color what's see what's in the yellow. You see that? I'm um, undo it. Just hitting Control Z. And what I like about Paint Tool Sight is that all you gotta do is just hold Control Z. If you keep repeating the same thing, you keep going back and back. You know, you keep on doing. In Photoshop, you hold Control Z and only um, goes back once. It undoes once. And when you hold Control Control and the uh, the Alt key. And, and press Z at the same time, you will keep on doing. But I find that in Paint Tool Site easier because all you guys will just hold Control Z and then you just keep on doing and doing and doing. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna deselect the yellow. As you can see, watch. Once I, like, let's say for like by an accident, I, I, um, I start like, I don't know, I smudge the blue, and then you're gonna see this. See? Now that I don't want, cause like I said, I like I like to select the certain color I want to color first, and then work from the other colors after that. <clears throat> I would hit Control H, but uh, you know I'm just gonna leave it like that. Let me see how many viewers I got. I know I'm talking to myself, but you know I don't give a shit because I know that after this, it's gonna get uploaded on YouTube, and people who miss the live stream, they're gonna you know. If they have the time for over an hour to watch the whole damn thing, well, you know, they're gonna hear what I what I just said. 
Oh shit. Go Bears. <laughs> Mex Kit, 412, what's up? Black Spartan, 568, what's up? What up, Orange Monkey, 92? Alright, I, it looks like I have some viewers now, but uh, it's all good. I wasn't expecting, like, you know, people to comment, but, you know, y'all more than welcome. I'm pretty sure y'all could hear me, right? Because I know I have the mic on. I'm pretty sure I do. Hey, yes, I do. This is on. Yeah. All right, yeah. It's been a while. I haven't live streamed for, like, about, what, three months? <laughs> it's all good. All right, I'm just going to start coloring it, man. Let me just zoom in here a bit. Now, the thing that I found out about this, the, the watercolor brush is that the lighter you press, like, uh, all right, the harder you press, the darker it gets. You see it? Well, it's kind of hard to explain it when if you actually have the program, if you could do it yourself, you, you know what I mean. All right, let's say this. Look, um, right here, I'm pressing really hard. Not too hard because, trust me, you don't want to damage your... Your tablet. I have a Wacom tablet. It's a bamboo. It's, it's a small bamboo. I've been having it for like about, uh, I'd say like four and a half years. It's a bamboo tablet. It's a, I think it's a model 2008, I think. I'm pretty sure. All right. Now what you can see right here is that it's really dark, right? And I still have the same color selected. Now if I press lightly, it's going to start turning like the original yellow you see uh, before I, I added this dark color watch. It starts smoothing out. Now that I like, trust me, I, I like that. But either way, uh, let's see if I press X. Does the um does the what's it called? Does the background color? Oh yes, it does. Y'all see right here, the foreground color and then the background color. If you press X, it it um it switches. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna uh, Hold the Alt key and get, get this yellow back again. There we go. Just is that simple? It's important to know these shortcuts because the if you know these shortcuts, the faster you 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 finish. Kind of like the old saying, you know, like time is money, right? So you want to finish faster. You don't want to like uh, take too much time or waste too much time. So let's say if I want to undo this yellow right here, this dark yellow, just like I said, just press hard, not too hard, but you get you get the idea. And this is the thing about blending, man. It takes time. Usually, I haven't done this these types of blending like back in the days, cause that's how I started. I I started like rendering, like I'm doing the quote fingers uh, realistically, you know, give it like a realistic feel. If you have watched like one of my early videos, like when I started, you know what I mean. Like I used to, uh, I I was pretty good at it too, like rendering like that realistic feel. But I stayed away from it, and then I just got into, you know, comic style. And ever since from right there, I never looked back. I enjoy what I do. Now, right here, I'm just going to, I'm not really going to blend right now. I'm just going to lay out the darks or my medium colors. And then after that, I'm just going to start blending them with the light colors and then with the darker colors. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to see the comment box right now. I want to see who's, who's still here. Because I don't want to leave y'all hanging. Uh, will you be doing any traditional art anytime soon? Hey, to be honest with you, uh, Black Spartan, the reason why I'm live streaming right now is because I have a new uh, t a new uh, TV, like a new monitor TV. It's basically a, a TV, but it's uh, you could uh, it has Wi-Fi. You could put internet or whatever. It has the Ethernet cable. So right now I changed my whole setup. So that's why I haven't posted any you know drawings lately because I I changed my whole setup. So I don't know where to put my camera now. It's because my like the way I ha I had my camera set up, I had it like a ghetto budget, bro. It was just nothing but books stacked up together. <laughs> Put in a long book and then just use some shoelaces to tie up the camera. You know, like keeping it. See, like you don't need to 
I didn't need to buy like you know like expensive equipment. I just made my own. If you get the idea of what I'm saying. But uh, right now I'm just uh, in order for me to do traditional art, I gotta buy myself you know a, a tripod or or just build my own tripod. But I'll see. I do want to get back into the traditional. But the thing is that uh, my my camera. Uh, let's say if I record over I don't know like. Uh, let's say a, a one hour video, uh, a, yeah, a one hour drawing. Let's let's just say that, right? A one hour, it's I think it's uh, I don't know if it was thirty gigabytes or twenty five gigabytes. But when I edit the video, you know, obviously you speed up the the process. The gigabytes go down. So let's say. Out of a, an hour video, I'll trim it down to a three-minute video, and and it comes to a uh, I think it's a two gigabyte or one gigabyte. Oh, I think it's a two gigabyte, and that shit takes I don't know like an hour and thirty minutes to upload. And when I record in digital, it it's it's a every it, 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 it uploads really fast because it's only nothing but megabytes, not a gig. So every time I make a speed pin, like a, a speeding video that took me maybe like about, well, inking it took me about like to say three hours or four. I trim it down to a three minute and it, and it'll just be like what like fifty six megabytes or or seventy five megabytes and it uploads real quick like in ten minutes. But when it comes to a traditional video where I already edit the video and all that. It takes like about an hour or so, man, to upload. Like these kamikaze videos that I uploaded, they took over like uh, I don't know, like forty-five minutes. Just a, just a quick five-minute uh, video. It depends how long I I put that video, but either way, like I said, that's the only reason why like I kind of like lost that feel to make that traditional, you know, traditional videos because it, it would just take so long to upload. But yeah, anyways, now that I got that off the chest, I'm just going to go back into painting the Wolverine. Man, you know what? Why am I using the watercolor brush? I could just use the regular brush. It'll be faster. See, it's faster to just give it the the darker color feel. Well, the the you know the shade. Then after this, I could just blend it. You know, when we use the the pen tool. You're gonna see hard edges, but it's all good. Like, I could just blend it out, no problem, no biggie. To be honest with y'all, right now I am not experiencing no lag like last time. Like, whenever I was like, I don't know, uh, inking a solid black, like, I will feel this lag. Y'all may not see it, but you could just feel it. Like, let's say, like, if you're already used to your program and you and you know how smooth your program is, or, or should I say your computer, laptop, and while you're live streaming, you feel a big difference, man. You feel like, like why is it kind of slow or kind of like, I don't know, like laggy-ish. Like, you feel it. Trust me, you feel it. But right now, I'm not experiencing that right now, so it's all good. And fuck these little kids are loud next door. I have the window open, man, because it's, it's fucking hot. Well, it's not really hot, but it's hot. If I close my window, it's going to get hot. And oh my god, I'm sweat. So just try try to ignore the background noise that you hear about these little kids. They're just running and screaming. I think they're playing tag. I don't know. Cops and robbers, what I used to do when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. 
Now this leg right here is gonna be easy to right leg. It's gonna be real easy. I'm pretty sure I can still blend. I haven't blended in a while. Because I got used to a certain brush I used to use in Photoshop. And this one is going to feel exactly like, uh, let's say if you use Photoshop, you're pretty familiar with this brush called the soft brush that it kind of feels like airbrush. Yeah, so it's going to be something like this, but uh, it's going to have maybe a little harder edge. A little bit harder edge, but it's all good. Uh, right now I got the yellow, the dark yellow up. Um uh, start with the blue next. Uh, hit control D, deselect it. Uh, okay. Now you got the fucking dogs fighting or something outside. It's funny. Why is it every time I want to live stream something, like, there's always noises on the way, but whenever I don't feel like doing it, it's like really fucking quiet. <laughs> oh, I hate that shit. Kind of like, let's say if you're looking for a control, like, I don't know, you're looking for your TV control, right? The last time you saw it was that, I don't know, you, you saw it like right there on the sofa. And you don't really want to use it, but when you want to use it, you're looking for that controller, like, it's not there. I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but you get the idea of what I'm saying. Happens to me a lot. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Right now I'm just rotating it. To rotate the canvas, you can use these little options right here. I don't know if you can see it since since this is like a Google Hangout. The, the little screen is like small. I don't know if you'll be able to see the little um, little arrow where I'm pointing at. You can just I don't know, turn it, and then if you press the little stop right here, this little stop key, it you know it it goes back to original. Originally horizontally, no, vertically. The fuck did I say horizontally? Vertically. And you still have the 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 other option right here. The it says right here rotate. So you could just click it, and then you could just click, and then just like hold it, and then just move it around. See, same thing. Just press the little stop thing, and boom, it goes back originally how it was. I don't even know how much time I've been here. I'm gonna check the, the comments. Uh, okay. Sketching Derek TV, what's up? Uh Orange Monkey. Yeah, I know, right? Like I told you. Well I told I told most of my people on Facebook that I don't have a fancy setup is all it's just a ghetto budget, bro. Cool drawing man, thanks. Um sketching dirty TV. Alright, sweet. Mix kit 412. Thanks for letting me know it's not laggy. Alright, orange monkey later. Uh man, this is so badass. Thanks, bro. Thanks, Derek TV. If you have a long name, I'm just gonna say either the last two names or I don't know, because some people have like these. I can't say weird, but they have these long-ass names that I don't feel like saying the whole damn thing. 
Uh, let's say your name could be David, and then you're going to have day 26, 17, 90, something, whatever, all these numbers. So I'm just going to say the what I need to say. I don't need to say the whole damn thing. <laughs> well, yeah, thanks, thanks for y'all for stopping by. Like I said, this is my first time streaming. Well, not my first time, but first time using um, coloring on paint tool side, which to be honest with y'all, I, I am not very familiar with it, not, not very well experienced, but you know, when I like to color, I use Photoshop. And the Photoshop I have is CS5. I, I don't have CS6. I don't think I'm going to get CS6. I, I want it, but I don't, I don't think I'm, I'm going to. Uh, I really don't need to upgrade. Uh, I'm really, I'm just, I'm good where I'm at right now with the CS5. Cause like I said, I'm not a color artist, so you know, I don't need to join the group with these people with the brand new, with a brand new updated software. I can't say brand new, but it's just updated. That's every software. They don't make it new. They just update. You know, trying to make it better, or giving new features. Right. I swear, man, this TV is awesome. <clears throat> my new TV, it's a. Uh, well, I just bought the TV just for my laptop, so that way I could. I don't know. I think I have said this on on like previous videos that I don't like coloring on my laptop because it has, because you know your laptop opens like a book. And let's say if you open it like too much, you'll see it like too bright. And if you like kind of close it a little bit more, you, you look at it too dark. I, I don't know. You just got to find a specific spot for you to, you know, see it well. It doesn't matter if you like lower down the brightness or the dark or, or give it like more dark. I don't know. For some, for some reason, I just, I don't know, never got used to it. So every time my color is always on my, on my desktop and... And I haven't inked in a while in the in the laptop. I've been inking on the on the desktop now. So I'm gonna get back at it again on the on the laptop. Start inking there. Oh my God, these kids. All right, pretty much got what I. Pretty much did what I had to do. Just play out the. Not yet. Just lay out the dark colors, and after that, just start blending them. This is how I like to start. I don't like to start blending like when I begin because I don't know. I feel that it takes longer. Like for me, it's faster if you just lay out your 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 lights, your mediums, and your darks, and then after that, once you're done, just blend them out. And you finish way faster. Just try that out one day if you want to color or whatever. Just lay out your your medium, your dark, and after that, lay out your your highlight. And once you're done with the highlight, then start blending everything. And trust me, it, it's easier. Well, for me, that's just like one technique if you want to take from me. It's not a. It's not. A, it's not a. You have to do it, but you know, like I said, if you're an artist, you work differently. You have your own workspace. You work how you like to work. Just leave it like that. Uh, all right, I'm pretty much gonna start blending it now. Pretty much got what I had to, what I had to put. <clears throat> I'm gonna use Photoshop. Either, for sure, I'm gonna live stream tomorrow. All right, take my word. I'm gonna live stream tomorrow, but when I live stream, I'm gonna be using Photoshop because. In Photoshop, I'll be able to finish the background easier because I could just use a, a gradient. That way, I don't have to be mixing, you know, taking like I don't know, like what, ten minutes to to blend it really well. While in in Photoshop, you have a gradient tool, and here in Paint Tool Side, you don't have a gradient tool. You gotta you gotta blend it yourself, kind of like when you're doing it traditionally. You gotta blend it yourself. So yeah, that's the only reason why I like Photoshop. It's it, it's easy. It's easy. Not well. It's easy when you when you already have 
experience like you already know the program but if you're a noob you're a beginner it's you know harder to learn in the beginning but after you learn the basics boom you start catching up you start catching up real fast I'm um, gonna see the comments because I I hardly I hardly see the comments. I'm just like working and talking, working and talking. What up, um, what, what Knell zero one? What are you studying? No, I'm not studying anything. I'm just coloring for the first time here in Paint Tool Sai. All right, Black Spartan, glad for you to step by. Later. Oh, don't bump music. I'm gonna have to close my window because these people are bumping music. So YouTube's gonna detect uh, copyrighted, you know, music, and then uh, I don't want anything. Ah. All right, I just have to close my window because these people next door they're gonna be bumping music loud, and and then YouTube's gonna be bitching about, you know, probably live streaming music, and I don't want to give my channel a strike. All right, let's do this. Uh, all right, I'm gonna start blending it now. All right, where's my dark, darkest? Use that. All right, cool. I'm gonna start with the legs because to me, I feel like the legs are easier. Well, in this position that Wolverine's in, for me, it's easier. Like it already, the inks tell me where to put the shadow. Uh, I don't know how to explain this, but uh, when you understand inking and how these inkers like let you know where these shadows are at like you automatically know where is the highlights and where is the you know the shadow it's just something you have to learn I, I can't really explain it because uh, I learned that myself I had other like pros like you know gave me tips like how they deal with you know how they deal with uh, finding the light source But yeah, like I said, it just takes practice. It's a lot of practice. I'll make my brush bigger. Okay, so I'm gonna start selecting the, the yellow. There you go. Brush. Now to blend, uh, like the easiest way I could explain it is that you're gonna be using your your keyboard and your Obviously, your Wacom tablet, you know. And what I mean about using your keyboard is that you're going to keep pressing X, like to change the foreground and the background. I don't know if you're, if you've been here in the beginning, but if you don't know what I mean about foreground and background, all right, look at my little arrow, like my little, um, what's it called? The little cursor, whatever it's called. The little arrow, look where I'm pointing at. You see these two boxes right here? It's a kind of like an orange yellow. And then, like almost, like almost brown. And then I have a, a yellow right here, kind of like a mango, like I don't know, like a orange, yellow, dark sort of color. If you see these two boxes on your keyboard, you press X. It's kind, of, it's exactly like Photoshop, all right? It's exactly like Photoshop. That, that's what I like. If you press X, they change. See, I got the background, foreground, background, foreground. That's what you're gonna have to be doing when you're blending, because. Let's say by mistake you over, I don't know, you over do the the medium color and then you want to go back at it. Instead of by erasing, just use the same color you have as the as your medium color and then just go over it and then that's it. 
like I said, this is just a tip that I learned myself. I learned from others as well, but uh, I intend to learn my own techniques. I'm not saying this is my own technique. I seen a lot. I see a lot of people doing this, so I'm not the only one. So I can't say this is my technique. That's like I seen a lot of people doing the exact same thing what I'm doing. So I'm not claiming anything that it's mine. <laughs> Uh, okay. It's a paisa! They bumped me some mariachi on me, some paisa music. I'm surprised they're not bumping Gerardo Ortiz. The way you blend easily is just by using your you know your 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 pencil you know from your Wacom tablet press lightly and little by little start pressing you know just give it more pressure by pressing it hard alright don't press it too hard because you know some Wacom tablets are very sensitive and if you if you keep pressing really really hard like you're gonna damage your Wacom tablet and then the sensitivity is gonna be damaged if you get the idea of what I'm saying Cause right now my Wacom tablet is a bit damaged because I said it before that it's a it's a two, it's a 2008 model and I've been having it for about four and a half years. So yes, I have this for a while. Trust me, this thing is kind of losing its its pressure feel. All right, I got I got what I just need right now. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to use a highlight. Mm -hmm. Here it is. I'm gonna give it a highlight. See, I'm already hot because I closed my window. And these fuckers next door are bumping music. Um, give it a smaller brush. I need this color back. Alright, this part is going to be real dark, so I'm going to get this color right here. It's dark brownish. 
and this part right is going to be easy for me. I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to make sure I don't I'm gonna go over a certain part I don't want to undo. Right, give me a minute, I'm about to check the the comments. As soon as I'm done adding this dark brown color. Check it out. How's it looking? I still need to blend the other leg a little bit more darker. And right, I'm just gonna check the comment box just in case somebody says something. <clears throat> okay, this question comes from Kano01, he says, for people who want to work for animation, do they have to use Photoshop? Uh, not really. You could if you want. There's different ways you can animate. You can animate in Adobe Flash. I know how to animate in uh, Adobe Flash, but I'm not really good at it as uh, how I was back in my art school days when I was in art college. And I used to animate a little bit on Photoshop, but to me it was faster and easier on, on Adobe Flash because it gives you all these different options and they're faster they're faster to use to animate rather than if you want to animate you know traditionally like frame by frame like drawing each frame you, you get the idea of what I'm saying but you can also animate in another 3D and other 3D programs like uh, Cinema 4D, Auto uh, what's it called? Autodesk 3D Max, Autodesk Maya. I used to animate on those back in the days. And what was the other one? I think it's Light Lightroom. I think Lightroom. I think that's what it's called. I heard about it, but I never. I have never ever tried it. But yeah, like uh, but to your question, I nah, not really. You could if you want. <clears throat> like I said, there's different ways for you to animate. The hardest one to animate, well, the hardest way if you want to animate is you want to draw everything on paper and then get a camera and take picture frame by frame. Trust me, that's like the old school Disney style, back in the late 19, 1960s, 1950s. Like when Tex Avery brought out Looney Tunes for Warner Brothers, they they intentionally did the uh, <clears throat> instead of by the tra not the traditional way, but the but the smoother feel, which was uh 24 frames per second. What Tex Avery did, he took it as a he said, you know what, well, let's bring it down to let's cut it down in half, and then so it could be um less of a hassle, like. You know, less harder if we do it 12 frames per second. That's how I used to animate back then, 12 frames per second. But anyways, the, uh, and back in our school, I was in animation, so I learned all this stuff in animation class. But anyways, I'm going to go back into coloring. I just want to make sure if, if I had any more comments. I'm going to refresh the page just in case if I miss out on any. Nah, same thing. All right, I'm gonna get back into coloring. So yeah, if you post a comment, <clears throat> don't get mad if I haven't replied like in five minutes because, um, like I said, I I'm coloring. Then from right there, I just go, I just check the comment box like, you know, 
like every I don't know five minutes. I'm not checking it like continuously, like continuously every what every couple of seconds. But if you post something, <clears throat> and if I could answer it, don't worry, I'll answer it. So you just gotta be patient. All right, I'm gonna get back into coloring. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, what was that? Oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta darken up the leg a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, let me see. Simple circle. Simple circle. You have options right here. Well, well, basically, uh, I don't know. Um, I haven't really tried these options. Like these options right here, they give you like a, like if you want to make it like have like these type of textures or give it like a, you know, like I don't know, like if you want to make it look like if it's on paper, it gives you these options right here in the bottom. But I have it on old texture, but right here it says paper textures, canvas, paper. So when you're coloring, like you have like that texture feel that it's on paper. Wait, I'm not gonna go over it because, like I said, I don't, I don't have much experience with this program when it comes to these types of uh, these little options that are here. I'm more of a Photoshop, but yeah, let's keep going. Hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did a mistake right here. Uh, it's kind of like not hard, but I don't know. Weird that I'm just coloring with, you know, not making any noise. Cause I'm used to bumping my my boombox with music, but obviously I can't. Cause you know, when it comes to YouTube, they're really strict. I wish I could bump music, but I can't. And I'm not really much of a talker either. <laughs> I can talk while I'm working. No worry. I could. I could. I can multitask, but I don't know. For some reason, I'm just not feeling it right now. Gotta get back my highlight. <clears throat> I need a 
man. Yeah, like that's faster. Hold up. Um, give it like even those hard edge. I can always blend it out. Check this out. Uh, go back to brush and then start blending it. Just press lightly and then you'll see the instead of by having a hard edge, it's gonna have a soft edge. Just press um, lightly with with the same color, with the same with the same light color. It's kind of like the easy way for me to explain it. Sweet. Now I'm gonna get my again the dark color. Start brown right here, and just press lightly right here on the edge. Well, I'm gonna give it a smaller brush. Brush stroke. Alright, nice. It's looking badass now. I see that. It's a little bit of a form. See, this is what I mean about it takes a long time to blend because you gotta be patient. They're just sometimes you get to a point they're like, ah, I don't want to blend no more. I just want to get it over with. Trust me, I used to go through it a lot back then. I'll be like, oh, come on, man. I just want to finish already. But you get the idea of what I'm saying because. Cause I could see the leg popping out now, like it gives it a 3D. It's giving it that 3D feel. See what I mean? Now comparing the, you know the, comparing how it was all flat, like with one color, and then just giving it different tones. Start blending them. Bam! The <clears throat> the image starts popping out, giving it a cool 3D feel. Uh, I gotta fix this part right here, the leg. Sometimes don't ever feel too confident. Always double check your work. Uh, you double check if you find some mistakes. They're not big, they're just like little mistakes that I don't know that you could just, you know, you could do better and fix it. That's what I mean. Give it a, a nice, strong highlight. Look what I did right here, a nice strong highlight. It's always good to have strong highlights so that way the image pops out more for the lighting. I'm just using a regular brush, like this brush right here. The watercolor brush, I do use it from time to time, but that's only, you know, whenever I, I feel that and it, it needs like extra blending I don't see it as a great blender like super extreme blender but it helps out sometimes sure here I'm using the wrong one like I said before to get rid of that hard edge press lightly on the edges of the of the highlight 
press lightly. If you press too dark, you're gonna not miss, like not you know not blend it well. But it's just easy when you press lightly. That way, you don't have a hard time blending it. Go. <clears throat> you know, I'm to get back this color and start blending this out. There you go. Bam, that was looking great. I can tell. <coughs> nice. I'm liking the blending now. Well, to be honest with you, this program is not that bad when it comes to coloring. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can check out how you know compare it. <clears throat> I'm still obviously blending the yellow. <laughs> I'm gonna check the the YouTube comment box. Pretty much still the same. I'm gonna refresh it. Yo, what's up, Washed Up TV? Looking good so far. Bro, I've been wanting to do one of these for a while, but <clears throat> uh, I got a new I got a new TV, like a little I think it's a 19 by 11 inch TV. And, and I said this before a while ago that that I live stream on my laptop and you know that the laptop opens like a book so there's a certain way like if you open it too much it looks too bright or if you close it like down too much it looks too dark like you gotta find like this specific spot doesn't matter if you change the brightness or the contrast like it looks weird but I always prefer coloring on my desktop but now that I got my my new um, TV I could just connect the HDMI cable or the regular uh, you know I forgot that that cable what's it called it's like gray and blue it connects from the TV monitor to the to the desktop, but either way, I use the HD HDMI cable to give it the HD feel. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna start doing more of these later on, but right now I'm just live streaming <clears throat> this one because I'm bored. I was gonna do it yesterday, but I had to watch football, and yeah. I forgot what time I start this this live stream, so I know these live streams last for about an hour and thirty minutes, I think. But either way, if it if the live stream stops, I'm gonna keep continuing it because I want to try to finish it. Oh yeah, and the other thing was that um, when I first live stream, which was like back in like three months ago. I was experiencing a lot. I was experiencing a lot of lag, like a lot of lag. Like it was, like the performance was slowing down a bit. It wasn't as smooth as it should be. But like you know, I don't have a strong computer. I'll just leave it at that. I need a strong computer in order for for me to not experience too many you know lag or problems. It'll be up to about four hours. Damn. <clears throat> I remember the last time my live stream was the max was an hour and 30 minutes or, or less than two hours. But well, hopefully four hours because so that way I don't have to upload two separate videos. But either way, I'm trying to finish this. It's coming out cool though. <clears throat> I'm going to get back at it. I'm 
We'll start with the chest. <coughs> Alright, what color am I using here? Alright, got it, got it, got it. Now I'm starting to blend the chest, <clears throat> and then from the down I'm just gonna go from chest to the <clears throat> to the abs, and then after that, obviously the the yellow part of his mask, and then from right there I'm gonna go to a blue, and then finish out with the skin, and then on Photoshop I'm uh well I'll probably do part of his belt because what what I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do is that usually his belt is all red. But just by looking at this belt buckle right here, I'm gonna make it look like a like I'm gonna give it like a gold feel, like if it's gold, like kind of like that gold, and then the the straps on the sides gonna be red. Well, I'm gonna do that on Photoshop. Well, the red I'm gonna do it here, hopefully, here in Paint Tool Side. But on Photoshop, uh, I'm gonna do the gold, the gold belt buckle. And yeah, I'm gonna live stream it tomorrow as well. So yeah, yeah, I get to see that. And also this this is October already, huh? Since October, um people have asked me if I should, you know, pay, um paint or ink some, you know, horror icons and yeah, I'm gonna do some horror icons like Right now, I, I am inking a well I have I, I have it done. It's uh, I inked it back in March. It's a Chucky. Chucky? You know, from Child's Play? Come on, you gotta know who Chucky is. Uh, I inked that motherfucker back in... Back in March. And I never uploaded a video, so I still have the video and the ink. So, um, I'm gonna try to color the, the Chucky and post it this weekend. And also, I have another one that is almost finished, but I'm not gonna name his name. I really just keep it anonymous, so that way, when I post it, you can see who that is. <sighs> okay, what's the other color that I'm looking for? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Before that, I gotta blend this as well. I'm about to check the the comment section to see if any if anybody posted something. Uh. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Chewy Draws? Glad you stopped by. I'm I'm gonna refresh the page just in case if I. For some reason, some comments don't get posted. Hey, it's Hugh Jackman. <laughs> Thanks, um, Jurian. I think that's how you say it. Jurian thirteen or oh, Jurian. 
Uh, thanks for stopping by. I don't know. I've been streaming for about an hour, I think. I don't know. And I'm a dumbass. I forgot to. I have a stopwatch and and I forgot and I forgot to click the timer so that way I could know how long I've been live streaming. Damn it. But it's all good. Make the brush bigger. One thing you should know that the bigger the brush you have, the faster you. Not faster, but I, like to me, in my opinion, like it gives it a a faster blending. Like if you have it like a, a brush too small, it, it takes longer to blend. Well, it's good for detail. It, trust me, it is. It's really good for detail. Like the smaller the brush it is, but like the bigger brush you have it, the faster it blends. I don't know why. That's just like my take. Like it blends easily. I don't know why. So it's just like, I don't know, my personal opinion, you may have yours. You may think that it takes longer as well, but I don't know. To me, it's it's actually faster. The bigger the brush, the faster it it blends. The same thing on Photoshop. That's what I noticed on, on paint to side right now. Like what the fuck is like the, the exact same thing as Photoshop that it, blend, it blends faster and, and it has the same shortcut keys. What I'm doing uh, right now, what I'm doing is that uh, every, you know, when I started, I used a a hard brush to just give me the, to give me the, uh, like to give me the point what's, what's light and what's dark, and then everything is a hard brush, and then after I get, I, you know, I put the, the simple stuff so I could read it and then once I, I'm, I'm already ready to start blending it I start blending it like after I I post in my lights and darks well if you're here in the beginning you you probably know what I just did but uh, I don't know it's kind of hard to explain it when you're not watching because it's, it's, it's easier to show than explain <clears throat> all right now I'm going to start fixing some errors, obviously, and then give it the highlights, and then I'm pretty much done with the yellow for the chest, for the torso, I should say, and then it's the mask next. I'm going to check my, I'm going to check the, the YouTube comments. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, Jay, for Jurian? Nice to meet you, too. I gotta refresh the page because for some reason sometimes comments get mixed up. Like they don't like they get posted randomly rather than you know in order. But yeah, all right, cool. Eh, just one comment. I don't even know how many viewers I got. Two viewers. <laughs> well, it says right here in my Google, like in the Google account, but I don't know about YouTube. But yeah, let's keep let's keep blending. Let's keep blending. Okay, I want to take care of that out. All right, cool. All
So I'm pretty much a fast learner. I never knew how to color here in paint to sigh and and I'm already doing like pretty good for the first time. And trust me, I'm not that type of person that that looks for tutorials. I'm that type of person that if I want to learn something, I try to learn it myself. Well, that's how I was taught by my instructors back in our college, you know. They tell you first, try to learn for yourself. And then if you can't, well, you know, you can always, you know, go online and then, you know, get, you know look, look for some tips and tricks. But yeah, paint tool side, learning myself. I learned how to ink by myself. Uh, like I said, I just played around with the tools. I then went to you know YouTube or Google to look for some tutorials. I learned everything myself. What I learned about the brushing and the water cutter brush was from Tim Michael Arts. I don't know if you know who who that guy is. He's basically a a caricature artist. He's a Christian artist. You know. A big religious, not a big religious, but you know, a religious guy. And it was because of him, I he um, he introduced me to this program, Paint to Sign, because I, I was in one of his live streams, just checking out his work. You know, he was live streaming, and he started talking about Paint to Sign. And I was a big Photoshop guy, you know, to ink on, you know, just ink on Photoshop. But when he explained about the about the brush strokes and and how vector the program is like it's vector like kind of like it's just actually like for, uh, Adobe Illustrator like vector based program from right there is just, just I just got that idea I'm like oh hell yeah I'm gonna use it for you know to ink I mean yeah to ink I never wanted to use it for coloring because I know I got Photoshop I'm used to Photoshop and then from right there bam I just started liking uh, paint to side. But yeah, that's how I found, that's how I, you know, like, that's how I got introduced by, by Tim Michael Arts, the, the Paint to Sigh. Well, that's, that's when I, you know, heard about Paint to Sigh for the first time. I know it's been out for quite a while. I just never heard from it until Tim Michael Arts, you know, posted a video on YouTube talking about Paint to Sigh and how great the program is and then you know should give it a try it's free it's free and yeah I, I took his word I took his advice and yeah you know what I never look back it's, it's a pretty damn good program and I even told him hey man thanks for you know thanks for introducing me to this program I never thought it was actually I never heard about it and it's really good well for me since I'm an inker I like inking for painting, trust me, this really like this, like I'm already like I'm having fun while I'm doing this right now. I'm I'm actually getting entertained. Why well, I think I'm mostly quiet all the time because I'm just focusing. And I said before I, I can multitask, but right now since I'm like you know first time learning this program, you know first time and then like like learning how to color, like, I'm just focused. Like I'm just focusing. I'm not really you know. I'm not really thinking too much. That's the point that I want to make right now. That if you think about something too much, like you don't really do it. So I don't know. I don't know how to really explain. But uh, like right now, as I'm blending it, I'm just doing it. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not, you know, having second thoughts, taking my time to, you know, think about it and then to make sure if I'm, uh, you know, do it right. I just do it, and so far I'm doing great. That's how I always been doing like all my stuff. Even when I ink, when I first started inking on, on paint to side, I was like, you know what, screw it, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm not really gonna think about it and then bam, I'm just got the hang of it. Like little by little I started improvising. I started I started um what's it called? I started like learning each tool by myself. I never went to YouTube, you know, for for tutorial. I said, screw that, I gotta learn it myself. And yeah, and I'm pretty much yeah, I'm pretty much getting good at it, at this program, like understanding it, just the basics, all right, the basics, not, not, not too advanced. I'm not saying I'm advanced at Photoshop, but 
I have been taught Photoshop for many years, so yeah. I can't say I know everything, which I don't. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, like I said, this takes time to blend, man. That's that's the only reason why I kind of stop doing like realistic stuff, like give it a realistic feel because. No, giving it a, a realistic feel it takes a lot of time, you know, a lot a lot of time consuming. A lot of thinking. Yeah. But it turns out great at the end. Like once you put a lot of effort to it, it turns out it turns out great at the end. Like you end up loving your piece, saying, you know, you know, you feel proud of it, you know, you took your time. You didn't rush it. But sometimes there's a point at the end where you just get frustrated and you just like, you know what, I'm just, I just want to finish it fast. And then when you rush it, your blending, your blending skills kind of go down because you're rushing it. You're not really focusing, taking your time. You just want to get it over with. But yeah, that's just like my, that's just how, that's just basically my personal opinion about it. I know many other people as well agree. But some of them don't. But yeah. I'm gonna give it more I'm gonna give it a a darker dark brown. Uh, okay. I'm gonna check my uh right now after I'm done with the chest, I'm gonna check the the YouTube comments to see if somebody posts something. I don't want like I said, I don't wanna leave anybody hanging. Since you know I'm doing this digitally. So first looking badass. See now it has that 3D feel, like it's popping out. Right, I'm gonna check the comments real quick to see if any, if anyone, you know, if I have a new viewer or somebody posts something. I'm gonna refresh the page. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Okay, hold on, let me just look at the comments first. Uh, Jurian, your question is what program is that? This program is called Paint Tool Sci, as you can see in the in the title of the video, Paint Tool Sci. It's free, you could download it free. So if you want to give it a try, go for it. It's a good program. Comic book art has changed so much, it's mostly digital now. I'm still doing it traditionally. The, the only reason why it's 
<clears throat> the only reason why it changed so much is well, like not changed, but it's still the same thing. Trust me, there's still a lot of artists right out there that in traditionally, and what's it called? And they um and they pencil traditionally. But the only reason why they went to digital is because it's faster. It's faster. You don't need to scan anything. You do everything in digital and you finish faster. That's why, like I said uh, before, time is money. <clears throat> you know, because you're, you're dealing with a, uh, a business, you know, a business. They want to make money, right? So in order for them to make money, they got to they gotta finish fast, all right? They got to, they can't take too long. It's kind of hard to explain, but you get the idea of what I'm saying. That's why digitally it's faster. I'm not saying it's easy because it's not. Trust me, it's not easy. Even if you're good at it, you still like me. I'm. I'm not saying I'm good at it. I'm just average good. I I do and I do struggle sometimes because it's it's still like you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like if you do it traditional, you still struggle sometimes. Even though it's kind of easy, you could rotate the paper and all that like real easily. But in digital, it's it's the exact same thing as traditional. Nothing changes. Uh, let's see. Yep, I'm glad um, Watchtop TV agrees with me. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not the only one that if you overthink, you start, you know, you start to struggle a lot. That's why me, there are some pencils out there that I can't ink because, like, damn, like, I know it's going to take me a long time to ink it, and plus, it won't, like, I just know it won't come out right. So, I just, like, back off and then just try to ink something that I, I can't ink. But there's points that there's points out there that whenever I'm whenever I'm about to ink something, even though I'm saying ah, I don't know if I could do it, I just do it, and then next you know, bam, it just you know it comes out great because I just didn't overthink it, and then I just did it. You know, I just did it. I wasn't thinking, I just did it, and bam, it came out great. Kind of like the Avengers. I don't know if you saw the the Avengers and the uh, and the X Men, um, the ones I inked, the first Avengers, and then the the Jim Lee. X Men covers of the um, of the X Men issues back in the back in the nineties. Those I was like, dang, I don't even know. I, could ink, I don't even. I don't think I, I can ink. I could ink it, but I don't even know if it's gonna come out right. Next thing you know, bam, it just happened. I just I started getting my my rhythm, started getting my moto, boom, and it just came out right. Alright, just refresh the page. I gotta keep refreshing the page because every time you post a new comment, I gotta refresh the page for some reason, even though I have it as an automatic, you know, to post the comments automatic. They still don't post automatic. They do, but uh, maybe like two minutes later, even though you post it like, like two minutes later, obviously. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's about it. I still have the same comments. Yep, same comments. I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back into it to paint it. So yeah, if you post a comment, I might reply to you like in five minutes or less. <laughs> I don't want you to think I'm I'm leaving you hanging, which is which I'm not. I try my best to answer most questions or or if people say what's up, I say what's up back. But yeah, getting back into work. Do work, son. Do work. <clears throat> uh -huh.
padre. Uh, since this is the bottom of the red ca red cage, it has to be darker for the shadow. Okay. This is the thing when you want to learn how to color, you gotta understand form, and form is kind of hard to understand. Uh, it's basically uh, let's say, fuck, oh, I could explain this. Obviously, when you draw something, you gotta think three D. You can't just draw it. Like that, all right? You gotta <clears throat> like the way I was taught. All right, I'm not gonna say the way I do it is the is the right way, but the way I was taught was that all right. If you want to draw something, let's say a human figure, right? Uh, it doesn't matter if it's you know like like realistically like you know give it a realistic proportions because there are other, there's other like different ways you could you know draw like you could play around with the with the proportions like the way how these comic uh the comics are made of because like when you look at Wolverine <coughs> nobody in real life has <coughs> you know this like the chest like like way too popular in, in a big ass rib cage. And nobody in life has that. It's just the way they, you know, these comic book artists, they, you know, they, they just give it a, you know, a hero feel, like a hero. Like they don't want to make him look puny, like, uh, I don't know, like a skinny guy. They want to give him like, all right, this guy is tough. He's, you know, he's muscular. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to, you know, give him a big rib cage, give him a big chest, some big fat abs. So that way he looks nice and heroic. But yeah, back back to what I was saying about um, understanding format is that you gotta like the way I was telling you, you gotta think 3D. And when you're coloring or when you're drawing a figure, you gotta you know like if you're drawing especially a human being, you gotta you know you gotta give the illusion if it's a male or female. If it's a male. You there's different there's different way you could interpret a male. Obviously, you know, give him muscle, right? But that's not always the case because when you look at She Hulk, it's a woman, it's it's a girl, right? And and she's buff, you know. She she kind of looks she kind of has like a man, like she kind of looks like a man, you know, like all buff and shit. But but usually when you when you identify a, a girl, you look at her. Like in the waist, you look at her, you know, her breast. So yeah, that's like basically drawing, you know, like um, giving the the illusion it's a male or female. And then when you when you start drawing that character, just a oh, character, yeah, character. What you want to do? Hold on, hold on. It's kind of, <laughs> I kind of had, like, I don't know why I'm struggling to talk while I'm painting this. I don't know why, because like I said, I'm really focused. Because I'm really entertained right now. Because it's it's fun when you're blending, but when you're adding the the flat color, it's it's easy, but it's boring. Like, I, I said this before in my, one of my recent videos that, that every time I color a, you know, a character and I give it a, you know, like, if it has, like, let's say we'll rain. Like that yellow you see, all I did was just paint everything yellow. It's easy, but it's boring, you know, because I'm not doing, I'm not, I'm not like thinking, I'm not, you know, I'm not taking my time doing something to blend. But once you start blending, you know, trying to give it like a form feel, you start to have fun. Like it's, it's fun. 
But yeah, that's why sometimes like, I, right now I'm kind of like struggling to talk and, and paint. I don't know why, because like I said, it's my first time painting here and I'm having fun. Like it's it's fun. I don't know why I don't know why I'm saying fun, but it's you know I'm just having a great time. It's badass. But yeah, while while painting, you gotta understand that uh, define light lighting is kind of hard because usually some people are used to uh, you know giving the light source from <clears throat> all right from like if it's coming if the light's coming from the left side. You intend to highlight your le the left side of one part of the body, and then the other part of the body you darken it up because you know the light, kind of like a gradient, you know, from dark to light. But you gotta understand that most parts of your body body are like are popping out. They're like bumpy, like popping out, kind of like your chest. So it's not always gonna look like you know, like one spot, like one part of the the chest is gonna be all highlighted, and then the rest is gonna be dark as hell. Cause some some parts that have a was the was the was that word I'm looking for? If you study your core, you get the idea of what I'm saying. It's a highlight, the sh the the medium, the dark, and then this the the highlight on the side. It's kind of hard to explain, man. But yeah, learning this stuff it's it's a it's, it takes time because most people wanna wanna just learn how to color. But was the point? Of you that you want to cut it if you don't understand the either the you know understanding form especially understanding the color wheel because me I understand it but not that well because I suck I suck at blending different colors putting it at one because I see like so many of these color artists that that blend one color with another color and then with another color and then another color like god damn and they blend it so well and it, and, it, and it works really well it's not about blending it well but it's just like making sure it works well that I cannot do. I'll tell you that. I know how to blend one cut, like one simple color, like together from dark, from light yellow to dark yellow. But this one right here, I'm adding brown and a, and a, like a like a orange, like a orange yellow. Cause I'm I'm used to coloring with rings, so I already know my colors. Like I already know what to blend, cause I'm used to it. I'm gonna check my comment box right now. Let's see if somebody's here. Let's see somebody posted something. Let me refresh. Nah, it's still the same thing. So good. Mm -hmm. Wow, three viewers. I'm surprised that y'all still here. Because <laughs> sometimes when I get in people's live streams, I don't really stay there the whole time because sometimes I got other things to do or I got to work on my own art. Those of you who are still here from the beginning, you know, thanks. Y'all probably won't have nothing to do today.
Uh, all right. I'm about to start. I'm well, not really. I was gonna start adding highlights for you, but. But there's still there's still a certain part out there that I need to rent. Um, put a medium color. So right here is dark. It's dark. Right here. Uh huh. <laughs> Alright, where's my original yellow? Give me the highlight. Uh, fuck, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start with the highlights. This is how I start my highlight. Well, here in Paint Tool Sci, since it's different, like a little bit different than Photoshop, I'm gonna use the pen tool, as you can see right here in the, you know, my on my toolbox, toolbox right here. The pen. Now the pen's gonna give me a nice sharp edge highlight. And then I'm gonna start blending it out, you know, so that way it could look smooth, not too like I don't want the the highlight to be too sharp. I want it sharp but not too sharp. So I'm just gonna, you know, soften up the edges. If it was Photoshop, all I had to do was use the airbrush, but right here I wanna do it like I don't know, I'm gonna I wanna take my time to it. See this is what I mean about highlight. See nice hard edge. Uh huh. Cool. I'm gonna get back the brush and still have the same color around. I'm still using the same color and I'm just gonna I'm gonna zoom in so that way I can see what I mean. As I can see the, the hard edge. Now I'm, I'm gonna go to the edges and then I'm just gonna press lightly. When I press lightly, it's gonna start uh, giving it a soft edge and then giving it like a blending feel. So yeah, with your Wacom tablet, just press lightly and then you start seeing what I'm, I'm letting, what, what I'm telling y'all. See, so you start smoothing out. Now you don't see hard edges; you see like um, soft edges. And then just go around it for a couple of times, slight, lightly, lightly. Don't, don't press too hard, so you press too hard, then you're going to ruin the blending. Not ruin it, but I don't know, just the blending won't come out right. And there you go. See what I mean? Same thing, just press lightly on the edges. Give it a nice smooth, a nice smooth blend out. And there you go. See, I improvise real quick. I'm a fast learner. Only when it comes to art, but when it comes. <clears throat> All right, so far is good. Now, same thing we're going to do right here. Pen. The highlight right there. Highlight right there. Uh, a highlight right here as well. Oh, just give it a. Make sure it's nice and curved. Mm hmm. And this spot right here. Give it a little, a little shine right here, and then it's a little bit bigger right here, and that's it. And I'm just give it a small one, right there, right there. And right now I'm just gonna blend it out. With the brush tool, get the edges. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shrink down the brush. Blend out the edges. There you go.
take this. It's hot. I'm open my window already because I think these dudes already stopped pumping their music. Ah. Come on, motherfucker, open. Ah. Oh, yeah, some fresh air. Ah. It's been hot lately here in Cali, man. Not too hot because I know if you live in Phoenix, Florida, I know it's hot as hell over there. How you like that, huh? It's looking great, huh? See the the chest starting to pop out, the abs. It's great. Well, in my opinion, I know a better color artist out there can do it better than I can. Cause I'm not really, I'm not really a great color artist. I can do it, but I'm not, I'm, I'm only average, all right. I've seen a lot of great color artists here on YouTube that they. Obviously, they could do a better job than me. But yeah, I'm gonna check the comments, see if there's anything new. Um, refresh the page, and watch the TV. I'm still here trying to finish a painting. Sorry for not typing much. I'm listening though. <laughs> you don't need to. You don't need to write. Um, watch up TV. Like uh, like me, every time when I go to your live stream, I'm, I don't really post comments. I just like to listen. I'm that type of person that I just listen. Like even though when Mero and all these guys from the YouTube R News, when they want when they want people to ask questions, I don't really ask them questions because I pretty much know what they're gonna say if somebody asks them a question. So I'm not saying I know everything, but I already know what they're gonna say. So I'm just there to listen. That's it. <laughs> so you're pretty much. Like me, just listening. I'm not really that much of a talker. But when I do have questions, I do ask. You know, I'm not shy to say it. Uh, am I still live streaming, just in case? Uh, yeah, I'm still live streaming. It's funny because when you put when you type paint tool sai here in YouTube, you, you see nothing but manga, like nothing but Japanese art. And and to be honest with you, I'm not saying I'm the only one, but you know, I'm basically like the only one who uses this this program for American art, you know, like for comics. I don't really see other people using Paint to side, uh, you know, for comics. I you know, I only see nothing but manga and anime. I got nothing against manga and anime. I just don't like it. People have asked me so many like requests about draw this character, draw that. I'm like, who the hell is that? Unless it manga anime, they're like, yeah, I'm like, oh sorry, bro, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> Not to be mean, but I just tell them, nah, I don't, I don't. You'll never see manga here in this channel.
and I I'm pretty much gonna make a video later on about people asking me questions on how how, how they should start you know a YouTube channel you know I'm basically I'm basically gonna go over the accessories the equipment what they need and then what it's their interest you know either if you're a landscape artist a portrait artist an anime artist or manga whatever a comic book a realistic artist or a <clears throat> you know if you like to draw cars like when it comes to props you know guns or caricatures like you Mr. Watch Up TV and or 3D I'd be seeing some videos from I forgot his name but he he uses ZBrush and in ZBrush he does caricatures I forgot his name but he does like caricatures and, and, and ZBrush like in 3D it's basically like 3D sculpting it's pretty badass uh, and yeah well yeah I'm just gonna explain like whatever you like to do this well just focus on that and then if you like to do multiple things well go ahead I'm gonna make a video like that later on if, if I keep getting questions like if I keep getting asked about What's the best thing to upload or whatever? What what type of art should I upload? I'm just gonna tell you, you know what, just upload what you like. That's it's that simple. Doesn't get any harder than that to answer yourself. Dirty girl, or is it older brother? Show us your tits. <laughs> Show me your forties, dude. Michi, older brother. Hey, wait! Ya pasé este Battlefield 3, wait, that shit. That shit wasn't even that long. That shit was, that shit only spent like fucking seven hours. Uh, on Monday, I, uh, yeah, on Monday, I, well, yesterday, I played for like three hours. And I think I got half of it. And then yesterday, no, wait, 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 Sunday, yeah, Sunday, I got, I only played for three hours. That day, I went to your path. And then yesterday, I passed it. That shit wasn't even that long. Fucking lying ass. Oh, it's over 18 hours story mode. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Control the brother way. A ver cuando viene tu brother. Ahí le doy el, el pinche game. You're drinking the 40s while watching my stream? Or what? Control the brother. Ah. Oh, so I don't want a fucking beer. Wait. I have beer, but uh, I just drank on Saturday. No, actually on Sunday for football. Sunday football. I don't feel like drinking today. I only I, I only want to drink once a week, though. Drinking a forties and drawing with crayons. <laughs> Stay away. <coughs> Yeah, dirty girl on the dirty girl. Eh? That was that hasn't passed by through your through your path. I gonna Venice away. I think I go to gameway. That shit wasn't even long. I was expecting a a, a long ass campaign, but on ni madres way. It's just like Call of Duty way, fucking a, a six five hour campaign way. Bullshit ass game with the Packers. They only won by one point. Ugh. I don't care for as long as my my Patriots won for it's all good. I knew they were gonna win against the Bills. So it's all good. The Giants, I think they lost. I did see the game but fuck dude. I think I was I think I was kinda buzzed from when I when I saw that game. I don't quite remember that shit. Yesterday, the fucking Bears hand manhandled the fucking Cowboys, the gay boys, Cowboys, whatever. I like rubbing that shit into the homie, dog, because I was a mean old Cowboy fan. The food just gets pissed. That should be hilarious. Yeah, the Dirty Girl, what the fuck? What does he like, dog? 
He likes the Cowboys también, ¿no? Because I know he hate, I know that's why he's the Giants. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's hilarious, huh? She's been hilarious. Yeah, fue ahí te presto Assassin's Creed, güey. A ver cuando venga el pinche Dirty Girl, güey. Ahí. Ah, shit, pero también. I need to get it from the homie, güey. Ves que te dije que da fue borrow on Uncharted 2 y pinche Dead Space 1 and 2. Si quieres, te presto Dynasty Warriors, fue ese badass game. Lo que te dije about Dynasty Warriors, that shit is a badass game, da. No más que, what I don't like, fue que it kind of changed from, you know, Dynasty Warriors 4 and shit, but. Uh... The full likes Packers, <coughs> or you like Packers? Uh, I'm fucking lagging it right now. <laughs> I'm just taking a quick break because my fucking finger away. My F you finger we hurts with. <clears throat> Come on, little brother, we type faster, fool. I know you're drunk, but still type faster. Fuck it, I'm almost done with with RDR, so you can borrow. What the fuck? Is, oh, Red Dead Redemption. Okay, I was like, what the fuck is RDR? He's done. Who's done? I don't get it, fool. What you mean he's done? What the fuck is that? <clears throat> oh, he does. Message me on Facebook. I can't for I'm fuck I'm live streaming though. If I live stream it's gonna start well it's gonna slow down the internet though fucking me entiendas. Well either way for ya pase pinche battlefield three way yeah it's a my pinche short ass campaign but it was pretty good. You using the Mac phone or what? <clears throat> he does your buzz. What? He does your buzz for the Mike's likes Packers. Oh, I know he likes the Packers, huh? But uh, there was this other team that he likes. I don't know if it's the Steamers. I think it's the Steamers. The Steelers, que diga? Pretty sure he likes them. What about you, older brother? Who do you like? <clears throat> I mean, what team you like? Cause that sounds pretty homo. What team you like? Hell no, my Mac is fucked up. I'm gonna buy a new one. Yup, I'm telling you, fool. I'm not a PC fanboy, but all Macs do get fucked up easily. Way they're expensive, but they get fucked up easily. And plus, building your your own PC way, it's it's better. So, like I told you, if we just buy your parts, buy your parts, fool, and then I did a dirty girl. We get the you know let that fool build your shit. Forty Ozers, you like the Forty Niners or what? I don't get it. You just saying Forty Ozers or Forty Niners? I don't get it. 
Come on, you got you gotta stop being buzz. Well, you gotta stop drinking them forties, man. You be getting you be getting tipsy all day. Never mind. Uh, what the eighteen forty nine? So the 49ers, right? They're badass. Well, they're, they're a pretty good team. It's funny how they lost against the Vikings. But they fucking saw the Jets, so it's all good. Alright, I need to get back painting this shit because I've been lagging it for the past, what, <laughs> five minutes? Last five minutes, more than five minutes, que diga. <clears throat> Pinch shoulder, brother, for you holding me back, dog. Uh, alrighty, alrighty. Uh, I'm gonna get started and paint it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to leave you hanging for a bit, pinch shoulder brother. So if you're gonna stay here, we'll stay here. See, no, no way. We got Amy Damaru. I think I'm saying it right. He likes the Panthers, pretty good. I know what I know. I saw my shit box towards my PC. <laughs> so, so what happened for that? The Xbox broke already, or what? We were trying to download DLC and then it broke, or what? <laughs> yeah, that shit is hilarious. How much you sell that shit? Thirty bucks, fifty. All right, older brother. Just make sure I don't get too buzzful and then sleep on the keyboard way. Don't spill none of them forties on the keyboard. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. Do work, son. Um, I'm gonna get back coloring this shit. Be chill, the brother. Where you hold me back for like what? Ten minutes? Was it not? Either way. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The neck, the neck, and the traps. If you don't know what the traps are, they're these right here. So the traps. The muscle next to your neck. So the traps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once I get to Photoshop, I'm just going to start adding the, the smoke effect, the background, and then the gold belt buckle. Don't worry, I'm going to live stream this shit tomorrow. Uh, I don't even know where that bird came from. Uh, alrighty. Get back to work, bro. I need a bigger brush. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blend this out. Gotta blend it out. Mm -hmm. All 
right, all right, all right. Looks the pen. Fuck. Ah, okay, I gotta start adding uh, some more shade, some more shading, some more shading. Come on, come on, come on. Bam! Blocks on. Ah, come on, the pinchy came in hard for Oh, rattle, rattle, right. <laughs> you gonna learn today. <laughs> that was just hilarious. Oh, rattle, rattle, right. <clears throat> Fuck it up right here. here we go. Oh, right, oh, right, oh, right. You gonna learn today. You gonna learn today, older brother? Pretty much done with the torso already from you know torso and neck. I just gotta do the mask. 
How's it looking, man? How's it looking? In a way, there's still more effects I gotta do on Photoshop. Give it that nice and smoky, the, the background. Give it a snow feel, like, a, you know, like, give it a cool feel, which is like a, like a grayish, light bluish. And yeah, that's about it. And then obviously the trees. Which is easy. It's the one bold shot. Nope, no comments. So good. Closer. Get close up. Like that one song. Hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, I'm gonna do something real quick. Uh, I'm not trying to think too much of it, but I've got to. Yeah. <clears throat> Sweet. Okay, uh, the light, the light, the light, the highlight. Okay, I got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. This <laughs> is hilarious.
Whoa, what the fuck happened there? Little pixelate. Yeah, I pretty much got everything for right now for the yellow. I'm gonna start doing the blue. I'm surprised the live stream lasted this long already, I think. I'm gonna check right now. Wait, uh, let me just select my blues, my blues, my blues. Alright, sweet. Start with blacks. Way 180. Ah, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm starting dark, dark blues. Yep. You know what? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Like that's fine.
pretty much it. Give me a lighter color. Bam. Yeah, more lighter. Yeah, that one, this color is alright. Yup. All right, <clears throat> start blending it. Da, 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 da. <sighs> Damn it! Should say my highlight. I can get it from right here.
check the comments real quick. Um, yo, what's up, Sketchy Derek TV? I feel to stop by again. Now, if you hear that noise, it's basically the laundry room because my room is right next to the fucking laundry room. So, this noise that you hear right now in the background uh, is gonna, it's gonna stop eventually, right? I don't want you to think that noise is going to go on forever, but you won't. I promise you that. Now, the blue, I, I, I'm really not quite feeling the blue. Well, the good thing is that uh, I don't know if I could do it here in, in Paint Tool Side, which I'll, I'll try later on. Just um, adjust the hue. Like I'ma see what other what other different blue fits well for this one. Uh, uh, so yeah. I could still change the blue, don't worry. I have that option either in Photoshop or I don't know about here in Paint Tool Side. I stopped already. <clears throat> Bam, got my highlight. Pretty much ready for this side. Okay, okay, okay. Need my dark blue. Blending it. Thank you. 
<sighs> I feel like turning the fan on, man, but it's, it's gonna make noise. It's starting to get hot. I'm halfway done with the blue. So I just got the skin and that's it. Chief older brother still here. Oh, I got a question from Sketching Dirty TV. He says, is it hard drawing digitally? Drawing? Well, for me it is. Because I'm used to pencil and paper. It's easier, you have better control, and you don't struggle less. But uh, but some people can actually draw digitally. Well, I think I could draw. Um, I could draw easily on digital, but I don't know if you heard about this called the Wacom Cintiq. It's basically it is a Wacom tab, but you're drawing in the screen, so it kind of like it feels like you're drawing. Like in a paper, right? But the pencil you're holding is, is touching the screen rather than just, you know, a regular tablet. So if I had a Wacom Cintiq, then maybe for me, then yeah, then I could probably it'll be let it'll, it'll be probably easy. Like it'll be I don't know, it'll be kind of like drawing on paper. But it's always well for me, it's kind of hard drawing on digital because you know I started traditionally like everyone else paper and pencil and yeah but if I had a Wacom Cintiq then maybe for me it might be the same as drawing on paper I don't know yet I had tried once but I only touched it for like I don't know for a minute like I was just playing around with it for a minute it was in in WonderCon uh, Wacom had his own booth so I was just there for a minute testing out the Wacom Cintiq it felt great for me it felt great I wish I had one, but that should that should cost like over a G, like a thousand five hundred. I think yeah, the twenty one, the twenty one uh, UX, which is a twenty one inch screen, that costs like about a thousand and five hundred, and then the twenty four HD Cintiq costs like two thousand and one hundred dollars and shit. <laughs> you can look at the prices at Wacom.com. But yeah, <clears throat> well, there's different types of tablets out there not just Wacom just there's other brands but I just prefer Wacom because I'm used to I'm used to that brand but yeah that's just my take on digital same thing with painting and painting is easier because you have unlimited budget there you have unlimited colors you have unlimited you know a limit of everything but in traditionally, you have to, you know, when you run out of paint, you got to buy more paint, right? But in digital, you don't. You don't run out of paint. It's like infinity. <laughs> it's just unlimited. But it all depends on how you use it and, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, pretty much the same thing. Alright. Alright, let me get back busy. 
get busy, get busy. <sighs> All right, uh, where am I? Okay, out to the other glove. I'm gonna start with the highlights so that way I can finish faster.
looking badass. I'm going to check my comments, see if anything. Uh, let's see, refreshing the page, just in case I don't miss out on the comments. Is it still here? Brown Brush D says, you can run out of pain when you when your electric bills are come out. <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> no lie about that. Uh, sketching dirty TV says, "Damn, that's a lot of money. I got bills to pay. Fuck that." Who <laughs> all right? From time to time, I keep coming back. To to see comments, all right. I don't want you to think I'm leaving you hanging, cause I'm, you know, I'm focusing on coloring, and then from right there, I just, you know, come back, take a look at the comments, see if there's any questions or, or some jokes, whatever. It's all good. I'm almost done with the blue. All I gotta do is just finish the his underwear. <laughs> I wasn't gonna give him a blue underwear, but then I was like, you know what? Since this is the old school, you know, uh, Wolverine from the '90s, might as well just give him that that blue underwear, right? So he's got his underwear, and then the his left shoe or boot, should I say, his boot? No new comments, so we'll go back we'll get back into coloring. So, yeah, eventually I'll, I just go back to see if any comments are. So, if you have a question or whatever, I'll just you know, just be patient until I go to the comment section and start reading. Well, I gotta refresh the page first because for some reason I have it in automatic and most comments don't, most comments don't appear. So, yeah, all right, let's get started on the, on the underwear. Uh, let me get back. How light? How light? This is going to be the highlight right there. Right there. There we go. And that's about it. Let's do this. That. All right, all right, all right. She still has me rolling.
Nice, it's great. Uh, either way, uh, let's see if I can change the blue like to a different color. Well, not different color, but you know, like a different, like a different blue. I'll see. Uh, let's go to edit. Uh, wait. Nope. Let's go to layer. Nope. Selection. Nope. Filter, there you go, hue and saturation, this is what I'm looking for. Okay, let me see the blue. Ah, uh, let's see. Whoa, you see that? <laughs> he will look dope like that, huh? Like if, you know, like his, his, um, his brown costume, remember his brown costume? See, this this is like the like what I'm telling you about digital man. This like let's say you color this character a certain color, but next you know the the person's like, No, I, I didn't ask that kind of blue or or that kind of yellow. It looks great, but you know, like can you change that yellow to I don't know, to an orange or to a red, whatever. This is all you gotta do. Just go to hue and saturation and just colorize it. Same thing with Photoshop. You don't need to redo it. If you do, you're a dumbass, and I just play. It. <laughs> I like. I don't know. Every time when I teach my friends, I'm always like, "You're a dumbass. Why are? Why would you re-render it when you had it right? All you had to do was this." And then next, you know, they're like face palming themselves, and you know, I'm just laughing at them. Yeah, that's that used to be me. Don't worry about it. All right. When I started, I used to make stupid mistakes like that. But you know, like, like I keep telling y'all. Time is money, so you gotta know all these shortcuts. And you know, like the faster you'll finish, and then the less of a hassle you'll you'll you know you'll have to struggle. 
I don't know, like that type of brown is badass, but uh, I'm gonna go back to the blue. Imagine Wolverine like that with a yellow and purple. <laughs> uh, let me fix the blue. Oh, there we go. Something like that. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Let's see what happens when we go back. Now he's fused with the Hulk. He's yellow and green. <clears throat> Again with that same brown, but yeah, the blues right here. This is the blue that I like. Uh, certainly not this. One. This blue is great, the one I just used, but you know, it needs to be less bluish, like something like that. And what saturation is? It's basically from from saturation to color. What I mean about saturation is from gray to color. You'll see. Watch if I. If I bring it down, it's going to turn gray. See what I mean? Now, if I bring it back up, it's going to go back to color. So, let's say, I don't know. Um, oh, I want his costume to be yellow and gray, not yellow and blue. So, all you got to do, let's say if you want to, you know, let's say you did it in color, but next thing you're like, oh, shit, he wanted it gray, or she wanted it gray, so you gotta do just go to saturation, and boom, drag it down, there you go, here's your gray. See, mystery, problem, solved. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see if I, nah, let's put it like to this blue right here. There the lumens, the luminous scene. Uh, just keep it whatever. I might. No, just keep it as I'm gonna keep it as zero. The blue, I'm gonna darken it up. It looks a little bit too light. Let's see, that's in zeros like that. Let's give it like a negative three. One, two, three, or negative four. Yeah, negative four looks good. And blammo! Look at that. Now it has a different blue. And, you, and if you want to see how it was, I'm going to hit Control Z. You see that blue? And I'm going uh, to, uh, instead of by undo it, I'm going to redo it so you can see the difference. See that? See that? I don't know, I'm digging this blue better, the new blue that I just added. Alrighty, oh, you know what, I need to save it just in case. Saving, saving, saving. There we go. Then, out of all this time, I did not even save it. Imagine this shit would have crashed on me, I would have been pissed. But either way, I could have just re-rendered it behind the scenes, you know, without me live streaming it, blah, blah, blah. But now that I just saved it, it's all good. Now all I gotta do is just, uh... The skin. Uh, let's see if I have any new comments. Uh, I'm gonna refresh the page. All right. Sketching there said hell yeah. Yeah, you're. Yeah, it's the same thing. Desaturating, less color, but I like to say from from gray to color. I don't know why. I've been saying that since long as gray tones to color. Desaturate is just basically you're making it black and white, or should I say grays? Alrighty then. I'm gonna get back into it. Uh, let's see. Either way, you could post your comments, and like I said, I just come back. I don't know a couple of minutes later, and then just check. So yeah, I'm just saying if if I have new viewers or not, it's still cool. I wasn't expecting over three, five people. I don't even know how many people have to stay this long. Cause I know I wouldn't. <laughs> uh, and just being honest, 
usually when I go to these people live stream, I'm there for like I don't know, like fifteen minutes, and after that I just leave. If I didn't have anything to do, like nothing, like I didn't feel like drawing or I'm fucking lazy, then I would watch somebody's live stream from beginning to end. I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, man, sucks Sucks when that happens, Derek. It happened to me once as well. I was doing my college English fucking essay, and and uh, the power went out, like, for my whole neighborhood. I don't know what happened. Well, it was pretty windy that day, so, you know, some cables or whatever, you know, probably got messed up, and everybody's power went out for, like, about 15 minutes. We had no power for about 15 minutes. And yeah, and I was like, uh, I thought for sure I saved it, but next thing you know, man, I was back in ground zero, man. I had to start all over again. So I spent like an hour typing and then had to retype the same thing. But, you know, shit happens, man. Shit happens. You can't always expect everything to go your way, but that's how life is. That's how life is. All right, I'm going to get back into coloring, all right? Oh, yeah. Time for me to do the skin. Yeah, I've, been, I've been live streaming since at 6, right? So I got three hours. Well, Washed Up TV told me it's four hours, so hopefully. And if not, I'm going to have to end it. And like I said, tomorrow, in case if this live stream goes down for any reason, because, you know, I hit the time limit. Tomorrow I'm gonna live stream the same time, maybe at five. Today I live stream pretty late because I was washing clothes and and I was watching um, The Walking Dead season two because it finally came out on Netflix and shit. And I've been waiting for it for over I don't know six months. But yeah, um, I was just busy watching Walking The Walking Dead season two. Washing clothes and then bam, just started live streaming. I was gonna live stream before, but then I, I forgot about my clothes, so I was like, shit, I gotta wash it right now. And then while waiting, might as well watch just watch some TV. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to work. I'll check in like in five minutes to see if somebody posted, I don't know, something, a comment, I don't know. Now, time for the skin. All right, I'm going to start with the dark, medium, all right. Where is my skin layer? Here it is. Now, this is clear as day where I got to put the shade, man. The inking just lets me know. So I'm going to start with this darker color right here. Now, like I said, I can still change the skin tone. If, I, if I'm not digging the skin tone, I can always change it like what I did with hue and saturation. Now, I forgot who's the who, who are the type of artists that don't like saying color, they like saying hue. I don't know if it's the uh, the painters that do, you know, brush in, in canvas or brush in paper. Or if it's the digital artist, I forgot. I don't, I don't know who told me that. It was one of my instructors who told me that. That most people don't call I me mean, most artists that do the, you know, these types of, you know, colors. Like, I don't know, paintings and shit like that. They don't like saying color, they, they like saying hue. I don't know, it's been a it's been a long time. I kinda miss I, I kinda miss if I was still back in art school, but at the same time, you know, I don't wanna go back because um it's expensive and 
and I just rather build up my portfolio than you know get a degree because like I I wanted to be an animator, but uh, but then I just changed my mind. I was good at it. Don't get me wrong. I used to go to Warner Brothers to check out people's stuff back in Anaheim because I live near Anaheim. Oh, I'm in LA, so it's just a a 25 minute drive on the freeway. It all depends on traffic. <laughs> Y'all seen that one video from the Gangnam Style? She's fucking hilarious. Especially that Deadpool one. <laughs> uh, that shit had me rolling. I like that video. I don't know if y'all saw it. See my lights. Whoa, what, what happened there? All righty. Uh, let me see. Let me see the comments. I start blending the arms, the big bulky arms. Nope, no new comments. So it's gonna go back. So I'm start blending them. Let's do this. Let's do it. Ah. Usually, sometimes it's hard to see the blending because the when 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 a lot of inks are involved. Uh, phew, sorry about that. <laughs> you don't really see that much blending.
That's one thing you should know. Holy crap, I've been doing it the wrong way, yo. Yo. Esos noveleros. Let me back this color right here. more lighter there we go So far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good, good, good.
<sighs> How's it look? <laughs> same here. Derek. Same thing, hue and color, but some, some people out there are like, it's not color, it's hue. <laughs> like, either way, man. Tomato, tomato, man. Doesn't matter. It's the same shit. Arkansas, Arkansas. Idea, idea. You know? Most people have their way of saying stuff. Uh, let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I right, the shadows. Mm. Start blending it. <sighs> yep, it's pretty much it for this one. Oh yeah. Let's look. Control D. Look at that. The only thing I'm missing to color is obviously the belt and the claws, you know, just for the just for the full character. So I might end up for tomorrow. I might end up doing the. Uh, I I already know what I'm missing right now is the, the grays for the for his stripes. I'm gonna fix that right now. But for tomorrow, I'm gonna do the background and any special effects that I need to make, and that's about it. And I'm done. And after that, I'm just gonna post it in my in my Divine Art. Well, I have a well, I have a Facebook page, but to be honest with you, I hardly post there. <laughs> it's because um, Deviant Art is such a 
badass website, man. You should just be there, man. That's that's like the place to be for an artist. That's where I post my art. And to be honest with you, I have more watches there than on, than on my Facebook page. So yeah, that's why every time when I when every time when you see a speed inking video or speed painting video, once you see it, it's already on my Deviant Art. So yeah, and I hardly post on my Facebook page. Looks badass though. I'm liking it. Hey, first time, first time painting and paint to side, baby. And I like, and I'm liking, I'm liking the, I'm liking the blending tools. I'm liking, you know, I'm liking it. But the only thing that I, I don't like is that it doesn't have that Photoshop, you know, special effects. But it's all good, man. You know, not everything has to be like Photoshop. But as long as it, if it has that feel of it of Photoshop and some of its some of its tools that I'm familiar with, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm cool with it, man. There's nothing wrong with it. So yeah, I still gotta finish up his, um, his stripes. You know those, um, those black stripes, and I gotta do the belt, the claws, and yeah, that's about it for just for, for just Wolverine, right, for itself. And after that, then it's the background. Which the background, to be honest with you, is going to be easy. It doesn't look that hard. I may do it in here in Paint Tool Side, but the only thing I have to do in Photoshop that I have to do is the gradient for the background and the smoke effect that is coming out of, you know, uh, Wolverine's nose and from his shoulder, uh, not from his shoulders, but from his elbows. I don't know if you can actually see the ink where the smoke's coming out. So yes, yeah, that's all I gotta do, and yeah, that'll be that's uh, that'll be a wrap, and then just post a finished piece in Deviant Art. I'm gonna check the YouTube comments right now to see if there's anything new. Nope, same comments. All right. I only have one viewer, which I don't know if it's me or or someone else, but it's all good. You know what? I'm gonna call this a day. It's still early. It's it's about to be nine thirty here in California. You know, Pacific Standard Time. So yeah, tomorrow I'm a live stream. At, well, tomorrow what day is tomorrow? It's October the third, right? Yeah, tomorrow, October the 3rd, 2012, I will be live streaming at, hopefully at 4, or at 4.30, if not at 5 o'clock, right? I'll be live streaming, and, and yeah, I'm going to post a, I'm going to post a, um, an update on, on my Facebook saying I'm about to live stream, or I am live already, so have a so just keep an eye on my Facebook page. I have Twitter as well, but you know, I don't really tweet. The only times I tweet is when I am actually tweeting to you know professional artists out there. Like if I want to ask them something or or anything, those are the only times I actually tweet. But other than that, I really don't tweet. Ah, but yeah, let me just double check on something, and then I'll be out. All right. All right, then, people. I guess I'm out. And for those of you who stayed long enough or possibly the whole stream, thanks for watching. And thanks to those who actually stopped by, say hello, or, you know, gave a like or posted a comment of anything like questions besides hello. You know, thanks for stopping by. Like I said, tomorrow I'm, I'm going to live stream again. 
finish up the Wolverine and then yeah and then call it a wrap and then I might you know I might live stream again you know coloring another character who knows but you know so far the good thing was that I did not experience lag like last time so hopefully hopefully I could do more of these because you know it's easier that way I don't have to edit the video and then just you know put some music on it rather than you know just you know what Here's the draw. Here's the painting I did in real time. You know, you could just like observe what I did and then learn from it. So that way you can get good as well in coloring or whatever. But yeah, people, thanks for watching. I'm ending the stream now. Peace out.